Hey guys, what's up? Oh my God, do you love the intro? I'm back doing my old intro now, I'm kidding. Um, what's up? So I wasn't here last week. Um, I just got really busy. And literally, okay, I'll explain everything. Trying to figure out what I'm gonna actually like, do considering they shut down my Instagram again. Um, and I kinda wanna just talk to you guys like heart to heart and it doesn't matter how, what anyone feels or thinks but I just wanna kind of like let you guys know what is going on, what I'm planning on doing, what I'm already doing. And um, because I do feel really bad that I, like a lot of you guys think that you're blocked, you think that I just left. I will never leave, okay? So if I'm gone missing, it's not because I've left. So always know to look for me again. Um, and just, yeah, don't think that I would just like leave like that. Okay, and then, um, I'm kind of want to get into what I'm doing. What I'm like, okay, so I already said a million times. So obviously I'm never going to leave YouTube, okay? Problem is, I do feel like YouTube is also like, um, like I'm starting thin ice. I know that they're starting to like crack down on anything people say here as well. Like I don't talk about um, anything with the, I'm not gonna even say the word, like there's no point because this is what I've learned. Like I really, didn't, okay, like I'm really bad at talking, you guys know that, like compiling my thoughts. I really didn't think I had a huge impact. Like I, when I sit here and talk to you guys, it feels like it's you, me and like my best friends. Like that's what it feels like. If I don't have like a lot of friends, you know that. Like you guys are my friends. I don't, and I'm honestly speaking to you guys, like as you guys know this, like I don't realize how many haters I have because I don't let them affect me. I don't care about them, you guys can see me, me walking around. Um, like I actually don't care, like, but you know, they, I, I actually, I'm starting to realize how many haters I have because of, that I can't say anything anymore. And it, I feel like it has to be a group of just like haters who have a lot, a lot of fake accounts who sit around and flag my Instagram all day long for absolutely nothing. And then I kind of got on Instagram's radar for like, in that, I, I, this is what I'm assuming. I'm, I'm assuming it because I don't know what else it could be. It's really unfair too because the things I'm being flagged for are not, it's not fair. It's not right. And like I told you guys, I showed you guys like pictures of my kitchen remodel and I was flagged for suicide. I showed, I was visiting my, my niece and nephew and I was flagged for child nudity, which is, uh, it's absolutely disgusting that people out there would, would flag me for that when it's not true. And if you actually do see that on the, on, on Instagram, you should flag that. You know what I mean? So you're diluting the, you're diluting it by doing that. Anyway, there's no speaking to you guys about it to like the trolls. It doesn't matter. I, it just sad because I'm stupid because I, when I sit here, I, I, because I have a fun following, because I talk to so many of you guys, I feel like I'm just talking to you. Like I actually don't, I don't, and I don't think I have a huge impact, but I think that I must have a bigger impact than I, than I realize. Also like the numbers on Instagram, the numbers on YouTube, they never make sense, right? We all know that I should have way more followers. I'm just like shadow banned as fuck. Like anything I say is flagged. They they take my followers away. They don't let me grow naturally. Um, it's it's very unfair. But it is what it is. Like I can't fight the system, okay? Um, and it's actually the government. I feel like you know the government is getting into these private companies and saying, hey, you know, let's do this and this and that. And the private companies agree to it. And this is the reason why um, if I say anything or people say anything, they're at the they're at the, they might be shut down. And I just like, the thing is like, I can't keep fighting it. Like, what am I gonna do? Keep on talking talking to you guys on Instagram how I want to and then get shut down. I have to not do that anymore. There's no point or else I'm not gonna have Instagram anymore at all. So this is the plan. And I want you guys to understand what's going on. It's not like, I, I don't have a choice. It is what it is, okay? I'm never gonna shut up, okay? Like I'm never going to shut up. I will always find a place where I can say whatever the fuck I want, okay? Like you're not gonna like teach me a lesson, okay? Because you don't even know what's going on behind the scenes, so shut the fuck up. Anyway, um, I'm gonna obviously be on Instagram, but it's gonna be like more PC. I'm not gonna rant there. I'm not going to, I'll share obviously, I'm, I'm trying to, the thing is that with Instagram it's unfair because even if I post a picture of me, I'm sure you guys are flogging me. Like I'm sure the ugly, useless, fat, 
and stupids, you shot 100% with no life, because that's the truth. If you have the time to try and fuck with me the way you are, it's because you're fat, ugly, useless, and stupid, because you don't have your own life. Thousand percent true it is the truth. No one who is hot, successful, useful, and whatever, smart, would do any of that. They wouldn't. They would because it takes a lot of time and effort and energy to be those to be successful in life. And you are a loser. You're a complete and complete and total loser. I'm talking to you from the like. Actually, it's the truth. Okay, not even like being crazy. It's the truth. Okay. So if you would focus more on yourself, maybe you could be as successful as me, as pretty as me, as hot as me. Okay, as um, smart as me. Okay, which is the truth, bitch. Uh, but you don't want to under, you don't want to do that. So because you can't, it's like impossible. It's like it's life is unfair. Some people are just losers, and that's you. Okay, hundred percent. Anyway, so anyway, on Instagram, I'm gonna keep it as PC as I can. I'm literally like I don't think I'll ever get my other account back. I've tried everything. Like there's not no one responds. Of course, like it's like speaking to a brick wall, whatever. So I started over and then this is a thing. So I will have my Instagram, but it will just be like PC. It will be like HRH mellow stuff. Here and there stuff like jewelry, outfits, things like that. But I just don't like, I just don't love Instagram anymore. Like it's like, fuck you. You know what I mean? Like I don't even want to be here. Like it just sucks. Like I really want to talk to you guys. I want to talk to my friends. I want to interact with you the way I want to interact with you. I want to say whatever the fuck I want to say. Like, it should be, it should be that you are, you are, um, like, cho you, you, people watch you because they don't want to watch you. And if people don't want to watch, then people won't watch and you'll have zero followers. You see what I mean? Like, you should let the public decide who, who stays and who goes. It's a, like, a natural process. It's how business works. It's how anything in life works. Like if people like your product, they will buy your product. If they don't like your product, there's nothing you can do about it. You can't force people to, you can't force people to watch. Okay. You can't force people to follow it is what it is. Like, this is why I don't understand. Like if I get to be so disgusting or egregious or like you guys can't stand me anymore, you won't follow me. Like that is what it is. It's like the risk that everyone takes in trying something in life. And it's not fair that Instagram or these Companies won't let it happen naturally. Like, just won't let people be. People speak. I'm not being harmful. I'm not, like, you know, promoting, like, like you know, to kill, whatever, to do anything bad, you know? So, anyway, sorry, I'm getting off track again. Um, that's how Instagram is going to be. It's just, like, I just don't love it anymore. I'm, I, it's, like, I'm afraid to post anything. Like, anything I post, it's, like, hey, there's going to be flagging this anyway, no matter what, like, whatever. So, that's why I have Patreon now, okay? And I'm going to also get into this with Patreon with you guys, Okay. With Patreon, yes, you pay. It's there has two tiers. It's seven dollars for basic, and it's a month. Seven dollars a month for basic, twenty dollars a month for bougie package. Okay. If you don't want to subscribe to that, you don't have to. I am so sick of these little like. Don't okay. Seriously, like I don't want to. You're gonna get so mad at me, but you're acting so embarrassing. It's seven dollars. Don't come on my page and be like, oh my god, Alex, I'm poor. And it's seven dollars. Like. You're embarrassing. Don't come on my page and write out, out your life drama that you don't have $7 to spend. It's fine. If you don't choose to spend $7 to get to like, to be in my circle, be my club, hear my rants. Like I want to say whatever I want to say on there. I want to write what I want to write on there. I want to write what I want to write on there. Say what I want to say. Rant what I want to rant. I like, like, I know people, I would say like probably 95% people who are subscribing on Patreon are like, my friends, okay? The other five are probably trolls who are just willing to pay just to see what I'm saying. Whatever. So I just feel like it's more of like my team there. It's like, I like you guys on there. I want to share with you guys on there. Like, I'm going to rant. I'm going to say whatever the fuck I want on there. Like, that's what Patreon is. I need to keep it in a place where I'm not going to be shut down. And um, that's what it is. I have to. I don't want to. I wish I could just be Oh, you know, it's difficult. Okay. Like it's difficult to be on all these different platforms all while running a, you know, a business. Like it's difficult, but it's like, I have to do it. It is what it is. Like I, and now this way I don't have to live in fear of having, 
you know, oh, if I post that, like, is it gonna be flagged? Like, is it worth it? Like, you know, I, I don't like, I'm just sick of it. And plus like, I'm giving, I'm really sick of providing content, like fucking amazing, like content. Like, yeah, no one can like copy my personality. You try as much as you want, like, you know, for free, bitch, for people who flag it. No, you don't get to see it anymore. Fuck you, okay, yeah. You can see it here. Like you can see it here once a week, but you know, like this is not getting fun either. Like now I'm actually afraid, like who knows? Like, I don't know. They might start flagging here, or shutting people down on here too. I don't know how it works, okay? Like, it's literally day by day. I'm like, and long as I just go back to just doing, hi guys, okay, I'm like seriously, I'm like, hi guys, I'm here today to show you an outfit. I just went to Home Goods and I bought a pumpkin and I'm gonna show you how I put it on my mantle. And then I got a candle and it's really cute and it smells like pumpkin spice. Like, no bitch, that's not how we are here. I'm sick of it. Like, go watch any other fucking channel. It's not how it is here, bitch. It's not my fucking personality. I'm sick of it. Okay, anyway, also, so yeah, like, um, so Patreon is exclusive content. Like, for example, I'll tell you some things that I did this week. And I'm really trying, I'm, this, I'm new to this, you guys. So, like, basic package, is the seven dollars and you can you'll get like you'll get stuff right 20 and right now i feel like i've been getting giving most people the basic but i'm gonna start where i'm giving the bougie package people more like the basics not gonna be able to see as much bougie is gonna be more like it's life not everything is free bitch we've talked about this okay i'm sorry i love all of you guys the same but like people who are paying bougie 20 dollars a month have to get a little bit more it is what it is okay like i i mean i'm sorry what am i i'm i'm really like i have to so for example like this week i did some hauls and i did some rants and i did extra i'm doing extra pictures like i did like three or four pictures and i only shared one well i ended up sharing two on instagram and then I ask people on Patreon, should I post this one too? I'm just more interactive on there. You get more pictures, you get more of me, you get more of me being real, like, um, and I just, that's the only place for me to do it because I'm obviously so offensive. I'm just the most offensive person in, in the world where I just cannot be seen. Like, it's just, I'm like, it's, it's, it's actually crazy. Anyway, I'm 12 minutes in already and I'm already talking, I'm talking way too much about this, but I really just like, it's actually really sad, okay? It's really sad. Like I've lost my, that account, you know, HRH collection on Instagram with all those pictures, like almost 10 years of pictures. Like, you know, um, anyway, it's just like, it's sad. Like I can't look back at any of it. Not that I ever like look back on it, but it's 10 years of like work gone. And I'm sure like the ugly fat and useless people are laughing their asses off. It is what it is. Like, I mean, it's not going to affect me. Like, you know, so I lost pictures. Like that's pretty much the only thing. Um, I really want you guys to follow me on my new Instagram too. It's, um, <laughs> it's at, it's shophrh.co. Like there's no other HRH collections I can take. Like everyone's taken them or I've, I've already tried them. Like it's ridiculous. So I will put that new Instagram here. Follow me there. Um, and Patreon, you can subscribe. You should, because that's where I will actually be being me. Okay. Like ranting about things that I hear about, you know, like doing like extra hauls, um, interacting with you guys more, just being like my real self and like, um, trusting that we're all friends there. Like I thought, like, I think we are here, but you know, we're not. And it bothers me because I really thought we were, and I'm like stupid like that. Like, I guess I'm just naive and stupid like that, but is what it is. My personality can't change it. Um, so yeah, Patreon HRH collection. All right guys. So, um, before I get started, I'm going to also tell you, so today I'm doing a jean video and I'm going to get started with you. I'm also going to tell you, I will tell you where I got everything. Um, and um, you're gonna be like annoyed by this, but I actually don't care. I also went and got my hair done and I absolutely fucking love it. I, it's like exactly what I wanted. It's a little bit like, I, I wanted to go lighter. This is, this is exactly, but I had dirty nails, I don't. Exactly what I wanted. Like she fucking nailed it. It's perfect, like I love it. And she didn't charge me an arm and a leg. Like, you know, LA prices would have been probably like, fucking 600 bucks for this, you know, it's like, they're, sh they're insane. So, um, anyway, I absolutely love it. I was a little bit afraid. I don't really want to go back to being blonde, but I love it. It's great. Like it's, it's beautiful. I'm like, I can't even believe she nailed it as much as I, I literally so happy. Um, so that, and then I also went to Cology and you guys know, I go to Cology all the time. Um, not all the time. I go probably twice a year. You know, that's the only place I ever go to get my face done. And I've been going there for probably, it's the only place I've ever gone since I started doing Botox probably like 10 years ago. 
Um, I'm 37, you know that. No one know, thinks I'm 37 in real life. People don't, don't think I'm 37. I always think people are like trying to just be nice and be like, you don't look 37, but they're, I, I really think that they're not just being nice. I think a lot of it has to do with jeans, but a lot of it also has to do with finding a place where you go who you can trust. And this is Kalology, okay? Like I'm, it's, they don't pay me to say this, okay? Yes, they do do my Botox for me, but I, it's because it's, I'm honest with you guys and it's the only place I go. So let me tell you what I did, just so you know. When I go, I get Botox here, here, and then I get some here, because I really don't want to have crow's feet. Um, because when I smile, um, I don't want to fuck up my sleepy droop. Okay, bitch? And um, also, I have very deep laugh lines. So um, probably there's, like a, there's a thing that you're not supposed to fill them too much, or you'll look like a Whoville person. So sometimes we'll put some here to lift, and then sometimes we'll put some here to lift. I have to fill. I haven't done this in a very long time, but um, I did a little bit um, of filling this time because I was getting like an, because I, I smile really deep, like hard on this side. So sometimes, I don't know if you can tell, like, a, like an actual crease is starting to form a little bit because I hadn't filled it in a long, long time. So I got a little bit here, a little bit here. Anyway, I go to the one in Brentwood and I go to Carmen, the nurse is Carmen. I love her, but I think they have two nurses. They're both really good. Carmen, I've never been to the other one. Carmen just knows my face and she doesn't go crazy, which I love and I trust her and I've never had, like, had problem ever. So if you call them and tell them I sent you, I'm sure they'll give you a better deal. Um, I don't get anything from it, okay? I don't get any kickback. Don't, don't, don't think that I'm trying to sell you. Like, oh, tell them you get, I get like a percentage. I know like, God forbid. Like I tell you, I put a link, I put a link, right? For like a, I, for like a lipstick, I get 27 cents. And you guys act like I should like, thank you. Like, are you serious? Like get the fuck out of here. Okay, you're lucky getting fucking links. But no, I don't get anything, okay? Shut up, so stupid. Like people are so like, oh my God, she's like getting paid for this. No, I'm actually not, okay? Anyway, can't hit the fuck out of me. So that's that Kalology and Brightwood. They also have other, um, like they have other locations as well, but I go to the one in Brentwood because I feel like that's where the Carmen is and that's why I've always gone. I really like it. Okay, stop. All right, anyway, I had to do a huge 20 minute intro. Seriously, 20 minute intro. Okay, so now I'm gonna do uh, something about jeans, bitch. And I'm just gonna shut up after this. After this, not gonna be much talking. Well, who knows? But um, this is the thing. I know I clap when I get annoyed. Um, I am so, like, cause I'm in Orange County now, people like cannot dress. Like I barely leave, like, I don't even go anywhere because like, I just like, I just, I don't know, like, I don't know, I just don't. But um, I, people cannot dress. Like people cannot dress, bitch. Like, oh my God, like people cannot dress. Like OC Housewives, like, oh my God. Like, so, like, where did you even buy that from? Like, where'd you, where'd you find that? Like, I, like, where do you, where would you even have located that? Like, so tacky. Anyway, I am telling you right now, bitch, like this is the only kind of jean you can wear. I hate jeans. I hate them. They are, I hate them because people, and this is the thing, if you don't agree with me, it's fine. Everyone dresses different. I know a lot of people on Instagram who are my friends, whatever, who are like friends who are like whatever, who, who are like, who wear jeans they want to wear. Like my sister-in-law wrote yesterday on my Instagram. She's like, whatever, I will wear skinny jeans for the rest of my life. Like, good, wear the fuck you want. Look like that, I don't give a shit. You know what I mean? So like, you can wear whatever you want. You know, I give a shit what you wear. No, I don't, bitch. Wear what you would like to wear, okay? Like, you don't need a fucking idiot, that's fine. Um, this is the only way. It's like, I love these jeans. I am going to, and a lot, uh, you can find these style jean. Like at H&M, Urban has a lot of them. And these are Levi's. I'll show you guys the, the kind or whatever but it's also the vibe of how you style them. I'm gonna show you like four or five different looks. I know you guys love this when I do this. And I've just, um, I went to the store yesterday, H&M. And basically I think a lot, of, I'll tell you where I bought everything, but the pants are Levi's, okay? Just so you know, and I'm not gonna change the jeans and I'll, t I'll tell you. So the jeans I'm wearing, actually I'll tell you, are um, uh, the, my smaller of my two pair. I have two pairs of jeans. These are the 27s. And then the bigger ones are the 28s and they're, but they're just too big. They were for when I was, I think I've lost a little weight or whatever they look for when I'm a little bit bigger. Um, these are big enough and like roomy enough. And so um, I'm just wearing the 27s just so you guys know for a size and when you're gonna ask me. Okay, so I'm gonna back up and show you guys everything. I hope you like this video and um, don't forget to follow me. You should follow me too. 
um, support me. Um, and if you, even if you don't agree with a lot of things I say, you should agree that I, that people shouldn't be censored. Okay. That government shouldn't be in, um, like, you know, telling, uh, private companies to shut people down who talk about certain things. Like it's, it's just absolutely not right. And if you think that's right, it's going to end up, they're going to end up eating you too. Okay. That's the thing is you're laughing now, bitch. You're laughing now. Okay. But you'll see. And I'm always right. So I was right about the things I talked about last year. Um, I'm always right. Okay. So just be careful and whatever you, you can laugh now, but that's on you. All right. I'm going to back up. Okay. So, um, this is not an outfit actually. I just wore this for just my in intro, but did I wear this the other day? I think I did. So these are the jeans and, um, they are baggy. Okay. Roomy, not stretch. Levi's, I don't know the name of them. I'll bring my other ones down and show you guys, but I kinda wanna show you guys what it looks like without anything. I'm not wearing a bra and I, I never really do. This shirt is from the store, bitch. Okay, I'm gonna tell you because I'm just like, you know what it is? Like, I'm just really like not in the mood right now to fight. I, um, like it's actually not fun right now. I just feel like it's not fun right now for me. Um, I don't know, I'll get into it later. So this is from Urban, okay? And I think it's because there's two stores, like it's H&M or Urban, that's like where I go. I don't like expensive clothes and, okay, I'm not gonna talk, I just wanna show you guys the jeans. So this is what they look like and I'm gonna, okay, let me see, is this better? I'm wearing slippers right now, I gotta change. I just wanna show you guys what it looks like. And this is my body type, but I have a short torso, I right know, like, is what it is. You guys are always making fun of me for this, but what am I supposed to do? So, um, okay, that's that. Also, my standard jewelry I always wear and never take off um, is this Rue Pave. And then my Super Gleam. And then this is my Dynasty Initial. It's 10K gold. And then this is my Juliet Cross in the Baguettes. Um, I'll be adding some more jewelry and taking off depending on my look. But this is like my standard jewelry that I don't take off. And then, of course, my u -locks, And I'm wearing my XL Roxbury, which I love. Just one of them. And this side, I'm wearing my U-locks and then a gold cube, which I just like never take off um, and switch around. Then I'm wearing Rupavi bracelet and then the um, G-Link, the glossy G-Link, and then my bold Miami, which I love. And I also wear this in a necklace as well and then my Rolex, okay? So that's that. Okay, so this is my first outfit and this is an outfit that I did, just for example, on my Patreon. I um, I did a haul. I went to Home Goods and Marshalls. And then afterwards I did like a look like an outfit of the day or something. And I gave, I did the outfit of the day part and like showing sunglasses on and stuff with the bougie tier. So that's how I broke up that. And I'm just, I'm getting better at it. I'm learning um, like how to do this and how to structure it more. But I'm just kind of like giving you guys like, I've already basically I showed this. So if you're in the bougie package in the private school bougie package, bitch, you probably already saw this, um, but it's a little more in depth because I have to learn on stuff now. Okay, um, so I have it on my locked and loaded necklace, which I totally love with this. I think it's really cool. Um, you guys have already seen me wear my, my bold Miami with this, so I thought I would switch it up, but then I also thought I could wear this. And it's my gold bar lariat, which I feel like you guys didn't give a lot of attention to in the beginning and now a lot more people are ordering it. And it's really cool. And of course I hand make all of these. Um, and then if you like them like a little bit shorter or longer or whatever, I can like do that for you, but look how cool that is. I like both, so effortless. Um, and I like these with like rocker band t-shirts. Like I think the more crazy the t-shirt is, the better. Um, with like these big chunky lariats, I think they're really cool. And with this um, locked and loaded one, you can make it 
like a short lariat. You can like connect it, he connect it here. You can make it into a necklace or you can make it into a lariat wherever you want. Um, but let me see, I think I want it like right here. And I love the big hardware. It's really cool. Okay, so like I told you, I don't take off these and then I just like leave those too. Okay, I like this a lot. I love it. Let me get my shoes. I forgot my shoes back. Okay, so let me back up. And then sunglasses. And I also have a variation of this outfit too I wanna to show you. The bag is Chanel and I love to wear, it's my Privé top handle, the best ever. Um, if you're buying the copies of HRH top handles, go fuck yourself, okay? Um, anyway, fucking gross. Okay, so here's the outfit and I love to wear Chanel bags super casually like this. I just feel like they look the best that way. Like if you're wearing Birkins, Chanel's, like casual, like not casually, it's not cool. Like it's really not. That's just my fucking opinion. I'm trying to help you guys here. Sorry, I had a call. Okay, um, so anyway, I love this. It's just a big oversized. This is also from a store. It's from the men's section. And then the shoes are Golden Goose. I got them on sale. They are a, like a size too big. Even for me, I like to wear big shoes, but they kind of work, whatever. I like them, I love like the color. I got them for a really good deal. And I feel like this is very Parisian on the go. I kind of feel like it looks almost very like Isabel Marant, look, Mar Isabel Marmont, Marant, Isabel Marant looking, um, but not the price, obviously. And it's not attractive. It's not supposed to look attractive. It's supposed to look boyish, ugly, but like I look so cool. Like you don't, you know, but like, you know I do. Like I'm not inviting the haters today. You guys are fucking pissing me off enough. So um, these are the glasses, and you would have seen these in my haul on Patreon. I got these at um off sacks they are victoria beckham and i think they were like 99 dollars 89 dollars so this is the outfit what do you think i love it you guys know i don't dress super super girlish but i always have like great jewelry on a cool bag um like perfect face <laughs> um so that's what you can't go out looking like a slob, you know what I mean? Like if you have your hair done, face done, jewelry on, and then you put on like these frumpy, sloppy clothes, it's very cute, okay? Like it's very the look, you know what I mean? Okay, I need to show. All right, oh, let me show you another variation. I thought of something the other day, and I was like, oh, this is cute, hold on. I was like, oh my God, I kinda like this. So, do you remember how I was like, what the fuck am I gonna do with these? Do you remember how I was like, what the fuck am I gonna do with these? Okay, so I kind of like it with this. So let me put it on. Let me see how I'm gonna do. Okay. So I think the key to wearing these Moschino belts is to not wear them fancy and not wear them with black. I think wearing them like kind of trashy-ish um, is, and I think wearing them so that the Moschino is like weirdly placed, I think it looks really cool, don't you think? I also got this at um, the Off Sacks, I think, yeah, Off Sacks. And see what I mean? How if it's like, oh, I just bust busted because I'm fat. Um, so yeah, because it's like off placed, it kind of looks like cool. Like I don't really take it seriously. You know what I mean? Does that work, right? Like remember last week I was like, what am I going to do with this? <laughs> okay. So, oops. so that's that. I kind of like this too, right? Okay. Okay. This is a long sleeve shirt from H&M and I just tied it up. I'm trying to decide. I think I like the bold Miami with this, honestly. Or the obsession. I'll do the obsession. Cool. And then I always have my Rupa Ve on. Okay. 
All right, so this was just a long sleeve button down shirt and I unbuttoned the entire thing, okay? Unbutton the entire thing, then tie it. So don't have any buttons tied first. I still haven't showed you guys the jeans. I gotta bring the jeans down and show you guys which ones they are. Okay, so I love this color and I also feel like this would be really cute with like just um, like a tank underneath, I'll show you. So that's that. And then um, the white Moschino belt also looks cute on this. Like, and then I kind of like wore the Moschino belt part, like not in the center. I wore the Moschino like right here. And so just like the white belt showed, it's a little bit much. I haven't worn it out yet, but when I was trying this on, I thought it looked really cute. Um, and then, yeah, so here's the bag. And I have my medium privé, the mini privé, not the big one, the difference. I'll show you. So the difference is like the width. This is the regular privé. This is the me uh, mini privé. So I have that. I love this length. And then I also got these. They're Chloe. Um, they do that weird thing to my nose, which I'm not allowed to speak about on here, but if you, I'm not gonna keep saying follow me. If you follow me on Patreon, then you would know, because we were discussing it, but whatever. Okay, so I don't have shoes on. Um, to be honest, I doubt this, I actually don't care right now. Like, I don't know. I haven't decided what shoes to wear with this, so I'm not sure. What do I wear with this? Um, you're gonna tell me. Like, I don't know why, I think it's like so fun. I got these. I thought this kind of cute. Like little flats, but they're very, like 1960s, like cute, I don't know. Are they cute? Or are they too small with the legs of the pants? I don't know. Can't tell. I love that stock, it's so pretty. Yeah, okay. So if I was to undo this, I'll kind of just show you. Like. I love the color. If I have a little tank underneath, I think it'd be really cute. Um, but I don't want to open you open this up so I'll like flash you guys totally, but you get the picture. Okay, so you guys might remember this um, jacket from last year. I wear this all the time. It's also from H&M. And what I love about it is I just feel like really chic with it on. I feel very Berlin-like. I feel like people in Berlin would wear this. But I live in California, so it doesn't get that cold here. It does get cold sometimes, whatever. So I always wear like a tank top underneath and um, I'll wear yoga pants or whatever, but I love it with the jeans too. So I wore this and I, let me show you, I bought another one yesterday from H&M. I wanna show you guys. But this is kind of the look. So when it's really cold, I'll just like throw on jeans and then my like Palm Angels, these are my Palm Angels Birkenstocks and shoes. And then this, and I just feel like, I feel like you look like an it girl with this, like it's very it girl. And then with the my Chanel bag, it's really cute and it's really um, like effortless, it's easy. It doesn't look like anyone's trying, it just looks like it's your style and it's become kind of like my style. The moment it gets cold out, I'll just throw this on over a tank top and just that's what I'll do. But yesterday I found this one. So this one was expensive because this is wool. So I think it was almost like 200 at H&M. But um, I found this one yesterday, it was only $50. And I got a large, just so you know. And it's almost the same kind of thing, but it's not wool. So let me show you the blue one on. And I love it because I really like this look. How it's just like oversized and like, it's just weird. I don't know, I like it. Okay, let me put this on. And I'm moving because you probably call me fat. And I'm gonna fucking say so. You probably saw me in some mirror <laughs> reflection. <laughs> I have so many mirrors in here. Okay, so here's the blue. Blue is really sick. 
I like it a lot. Um, and it's a little bit less warm, you know what I mean? So I think we wear it more often, and the color is not as serious, right? So. Put my Bold Miami on, just so you guys know I love this one. I wear the 18 inch in that. So it usually goes like, what I wear is like, it's kind of, okay, so this is like the 15. This one's always the 16, 18, and this one's 20. Really cute, right? Like it was really cold here a couple days or yesterday or the day before. And I wore, actually wore something else. I wore like this big, whatever. But I was gonna wear that and it would have it been perfect. Remember last, last season it was really cold. I just threw that over like my outfits. And I like it, I don't know. I don't know what it is about, about, it is about these. I don't, I like these more than I like the shackets. I feel like the shackets that end here Everyone has them, everyone's doing them. They're becoming so like Target. They're becoming so like Instagram, like just boring person. I think these are a little bit more weird, like a little more striking, right? You know what I mean? It's a little bit more, and just because they're longer doesn't mean it's gonna be warmer necessarily. I don't know, it'll be a little bit warmer, but it's not like that much warmer. I just feel like they're more of a vibe with the shoes. I love this. Okay, so I looked, there's no like name on them, just the size. Told you these are 28, so I'm wearing the 27. But I saw this and maybe this will help. So you can screenshot this. I know I'm really helping because I know that this can be difficult, but this is what they look like. They're just straight, okay? And there's no holes. I think the holes make it look too young, not as like rich, like not as like cool, like no holes, the holes is stupid. Okay, so this is just a black t-shirt. And the next lesson is about blazers. Okay, so I don't buy, bla I don't buy, I don't buy things just to buy things, right? Like I ha it has to be right, it has to, like I can't stand clutter. Okay, so I have four blazers that I really like and I'm gonna, show them all to you and they would all work with this outfit and you can't get all of them now but maybe you can get one somewhere this one's from h&m and it has gold buttons okay it has gold buttons and they're all really big i think this is, this is a large okay so it's supposed to be huge it's not supposed to be small it's not supposed to be okay if it looks even at all like it's your size, then get the next size up, okay? That's like, the, that's the trick. So sometimes I'm not into the gold buttons. Like today, I'm not. I usually wear this one, honestly, with yoga pants, with all black, with the gold buttons. I think it looks better. Okay, H&M. Extra large, sorry, extra large on this one. Okay, this one's really old. It's from Aritzia. It's a large Babaton, and Aritzia is expensive. This is probably like 200 and something dollars. Um, I really like this one. It's like been in my wardrobe forever. <sighs> when I was fat, I bought this and I still love it today. It's not as ex exaggerated, um, so it's a little bit more realistic, okay? And then I have this one from Marshalls. It's Vince, size eight, and it's not that big. But I love so I wore this outfit exactly yesterday. Um, and I love that there's no collar and it's like this kind of modern cut. So I have different blazers for like different vibes, even though they're all oversized boyfriend style. And this one even looks really good buttoned with skinny shorts. I love it, it's really cute like that. And the one I got yesterday, Sorry, I'm like, yeah, no exercise, so I'm like huffing and puffing. Okay, um, I got this one yesterday, $50, size large. So it's weird because the first one of the gold buttons is an XL, 
H&M, this one's a large, and they're both equally as huge. So you just have to try them on. So this is like the tuxedo style. It has four buttons, but it, it's huge. See, like it's supposed to be huge. I also tried them on yesterday and the lining on some of them were really bad and like coming down. So make sure you get like a good one when you try them on. But this is that. And I really just kind of, this is such an easy outfit to wear. If you're, and I, you guys know I really care about you if you're fat. Because I was fat. If you're fat, this looks good too. You're like This looks good for any body style. And um, like when I was fat, like this probably would have worked. I didn't wear these jeans really because I probably wore yoga pants because it's just more slimming, more flattering, easier to wear when you're fat. And I'm not getting in a fight with you, okay? Get the fuck off my channel, stupid fuck. Okay, um, so. And I love all these, all these outfits because they're very, like, gender neutral. Not that that's, like, anything I, like, strive to be. I'm a girl, you <laughs> know, whatever. But, like, I don't like to dress too girly, and I also get a lot of inspo from boys. So, um, I just am not, like, a, the girliest person. And I don't get, like, a lot of inspo from, like, girl fashion. I get a lot of inspo from, like, boy fashion. And so, I love that. So, this, with my sunglasses, with my Palm Angel shoes, um, I think is really cute. And with my... Just such a vibe, right? So yeah, okay? All right guys, um, so I think for example, right now when this is uploading, I will film something small on um, Patreon too for everyone. I'm just trying to figure this out. You know, like we're all doing this together because I know the majority of you out there are like on my side, you know what I mean? But I have to like be able to be like film, you know? I, or like be seen. Anyway, so I'll do that and I don't know what I'll film, but anyone who's um, actually, see, I think I might just do the bougie on this one. I think I might just give it to the bougie people because I need to give more to the bougie people. I know, sorry, like, it was 20 bucks a month, okay? Or seven, it's not a big deal. Shut up. I don't wanna hear your fucking little crybaby stories about not having $7 a fucking month, okay? That's, okay, that is like literally one Starbucks. Shut the fuck up, stupid. You know, I feel bad for you, I'm $7. Liar, you're a fucking liar. Don't lie, okay? Don't lie and tell me I have $7. It's stupid, it's a stupid lie. I was broke off of my ass, didn't have a job, living in my parents' house, and I could muster up $7, so shut up. Okay, anyway, I love you guys so much. <laughs> I hope you guys like this video. Um, all right, bye.